What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. We got another flashlight to review here today. It's not a no light though. Today we have a light from Phoenix. So this it specifically is the Phoenix PD35 TAC or Tactical. Um, so this was actually one of the first flashlights that I got for work. Um, this one isn't mine. This one's actually my wife's because she needed one too. Uh, mine's at work in my locker. It's all beat up. So this one's a little nicer to review. She hasn't used it as much as I have. So let's take a look at the light here. So the Phoenix PD35 Tactical is a IPX8 flashlight. So just like the O-Lights, it's still got that waterproofing. Um, it does run on a rechargeable 18650. So you just remove the tail cap and it is a 35 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt, 18650. And there we go. Uh, so this one here specifically is the Phoenix brand battery. Uh, now the flashlights, I will note now, they don't sell with the battery anymore. So this is the old Phoenix battery. This is rechargeable from a regular battery charger. Phoenix changed over to the, the designs of their batteries. They now have a USB port on the side of them to charge them. So this light, in most cases, and I'll go over a couple options for you, is not available with a battery. So it runs on a 16 or a single 18650. It will also run on two CR123A batteries as well. So it gives you another option. You're not going to find too many that are rechargeable, but it gives you another backup option if you need to find a battery. Um, weight wise without the battery it is 3.1 ounces and your length is going to be 5.4 inches now it runs on two different modes there is a tactical mode and then there's a EDC or outdoor mode I think is what they call it um, so to turn the light on it does have a get it to focus here there we go tail switch and then there's also a stainless steel side switch so you just single click and you have a positive very loud click there um, so this is this one here is set up in the EDC or outdoor mode so when you hit activate the tail switch it literally is just on and off that's it now if you press the side button it will take you through your different modes. All right, so mode number one here on the outdoor is gonna be eco. Let me just make sure that's right here. Just wanna make sure these all are down. Okay. Going through all the different levels here. All right, so the first one's eco. And let me just kick this light off here again. That'll make it easy. All right, so that's actually gonna be eight lumens. It's gonna run for 140 hours. So you get a good bit of, of length off a fully charged battery there. It looks a lot brighter. This camera does a good job of brightening things up. But I mean, you can see around if you really needed to. You know, if you're trying to get in the door and you're trying to fidget with your keys, you can see. Um, so you press that button again, you're going to step up to low. This is 60 lumens. It's going to run for 29.25 hours. So 29 and a quarter hours. Next step is going to be mid. That's going to be 200 lumens. It's going to run for eight and a half hours. So now you're just under that I5T. If you've watched any of my O-Light videos, that's kind of your reference. This is 100 lumens less than the, the high on the I5T. Again, you're gonna go up to 500 lumens. This is gonna run for two hours and 55 minutes. So 500 lumens, honestly, that's a good base level for a bigger light like this. Press it again, and this is going to give you a thousand lumens. So now we're at the S1R1 or S1R2 from Olight, a lot bigger package, but you get that thousand lumens, and that is going to run for 
an hour and 10 minutes. Now, they don't have any step down information. I've never actually ran this thing long enough. I do, I do believe the thousand steps down um, I want to say it's after less than five minutes. I've used it at work, but I've never actually used it long enough to get it to step down all the way. And back to Eco. So let me kick my light back on here. Now, in the outdoor EDC mode, you have, you have to press this tail switch or the side switch to go through the different modes. In the tactical mode, you have three options. You have a, a low, which is 60 lumens. It'll run for 29 and a quarter hours. You have turbo, which is 1,000 lumens, run for an hour and 10. And then you also have that strobe mode, which you guys have already seen. That is 1,000 a thousand, a lumens strobe mode. And I marked it at an hour 10 because that's what the 1,000 lumens runs from or for, but it will probably step down. Just keep that in mind. Um, they don't have a lot of information on the times or the step downs for the Phoenixes, even on their website. Like I said, I have used that thousand lumens and had it step down. I just don't know what it steps down to. Um, construction wise, the light is made out of aircraft grade aluminum. It has a Cree LED in it. The LED lifespan is 50,000 hours. Um, and I'm going to give you a couple different links in the description below for the light. The first one is from Phoenix himself. It is $71.95, or $95, and that is one that does not come with a battery. So you get the light and you get a nylon holster. That's it. Um, you can add in one of their batteries. Most of their batteries range right around the $20 range for the rechargeable 18650s. You can also get it on Amazon for $72.95, and that comes with two of the CR123A batteries. That's actually what this one came with. And then there's another Amazon link I'm going to put down. It's $89.95, and that will come with one of the new Phoenix 18650s, but it will have that recharge, that USB recharging port on the battery. So you'll have to take the battery out, put the USB cord in it instead of popping this in like a battery charger like this one. So those are your three options for purchasing the light right now that I, I will give you. Obviously, there's more options out there. Find your own if you don't like the ones I show you. Um, but they're good options. They're trustworthy companies or trustworthy sellers on Amazon and obviously the, the website itself. And they have tons of accessories for this thing. Um, you can, on Phoenix's website, you can purchase a mount to mount this as a weapon mounted light to a rifle. Uh, they also make cones so if you're out directing traffic, they have a cone that'll go on it that's white or red or whatever color. Um, and then obviously you have the pocket clip. Now I actually had purchased, um, and I'll try to find a link for it. There is, I have a nylon holster that I actually purchased for mine. So it, it kind of looks like a mag pouch clips it clips onto your belt and then it's cut out for the PD35 tack and it'll accept a couple other lights as well and that's actually how I wore it at work I put it on my belt and I carried this on my belt it's a little bit too big for me to want to put this in my pocket every day with everything else that I carry so that's also an option like I said I'll try to find a link for that and put it in the description uh, other, other than that, though, this is a good light, honestly. I mean, I, I, looking at my channel, I love my O-lights. And I, I don't use this much anymore. It stays in my locker. Um, and I guess if you need a club, this thing would work pretty decent. It's heavy. Um, but for when I first started in corrections, this light did everything I needed. You know, it had a, a lower mode. So that, you know, if I was just poking around in, in cells or looking around around the jail, it's fine. And then it has that turbo mode. Or if I'm outside doing a tour or I really need to light something up, I also get that option. So it worked out really nice. As much as I say mine's beat up, it's the coating on it that's beat up more than anything. Um, if you can see, see if I can get the camera to focus. The bezel is cut kind of as a striking device so you can kind of hit with it 
without damaging the lens. It's very shallow though. Uh, a couple of those are dinged up from hitting it off things or dropping the light. Mostly it's cosmetic though. So the light itself still functions and I carried this thing with me for about a year and a half, year, year and a half till I got my first O light that I changed it out with. So it definitely will hold up to the beating. I've dropped this thing off on the road, taken it out of the holster. I've dropped it in cells. I mean, it, it gets beat up. So still a very durable light, gives a good range of, of output. And it's in that same price range as the S1 or S2 baton or R baton twos. So if you like a bigger light, I mean, you think the S2 or S1R is probably only about that big. S2 is going to be probably around that. So you, you still got a lot of range. If you like a bigger light or you're dedicated or you're a Phoenix person, I mean, everybody has certain brands that they like. If you like Phoenix, the PD35 TAC is definitely a decent light to, to go with if you need a, a duty style light or a tactical style light. All right, guys. So that's all I got for the Phoenix PD35 TAC here today. Uh, if you like the video, definitely hit that like button, drop a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you like. Do you like Phoenix? Do you like Olight? Um, what brand of flashlight do you carry? If you carry a Phoenix, which one's your favorite? Um, if you carry an Olight, jump on one of the Olight videos and tell me which one you like. Um, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notified of any new videos coming out in the future. I'll have some coming out all this week. Um, that's all I got for you here today, guys. Later.